speed. I am speed. One winner. 42 losers. I eat losers for breakfast. Brecky could have been good for me, but no focus. I'm Lightning McQueen. You're going my way. I want to drive it all night long. I don't know the words to the song. I'm just sing along to the turn of the song. What's up, guys? You don't want to know how long we planned that intro, but uh, it was kind of fun. So last night, I saw Cars 3, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I kind of loved it. <laughs> well, maybe not love it, but I thought it was pretty good. And where else would be a better spot to review Cars 3 than my car? That being said, I cannot believe that I liked this movie as much as I did. Because going in, I expected it just to be meh. Now, I don't hate this franchise. In fact, I actually kind of like the first one quite a bit. The second one, not a fan. That being said, I went into this kind of optimistic that it was probably going to be good, not great. It's Pixar. They try to make you feel a certain way, so I kind of knew what to expect, but I didn't know I was going to enjoy this movie as much as I actually did. I can't believe that I'm about to say this, but there's a lot of good stuff in this movie. In fact, there's a lot of really good stuff in this movie. To my surprise, they really toned down the humor aspect of this franchise and of like the previous movies, and instead they really slow things down, and it's a very character-driven movie. Driven. See what I did there? It, it, it's a pun. It's a bad pun. Never mind. That all being said, this movie isn't perfect. In fact, it has a few problems that really hold it back, but overall, it's just a blast. Now, the best part about this movie, as you might have already guessed, are the characters. They really focus on these characters, and unlike the previous movie in this franchise, the characters actually stand out and have a reason to be there other than, you know, the sake of selling toys. And I really like that stuff. I like the idea that Lightning McQueen was getting older, and he has to accept the fact that he might not be faster than the other cars, but that doesn't mean he can't be smarter than the other cars. I would say that the beginning of this movie is actually really strong and does what it needs to do. The middle of the movie is pretty all right and the ending was predictable, but I really enjoyed it, if that makes sense. Like, I totally could have guessed what was coming. In fact, I did guess what was coming and what was gonna happen in this movie. But that all being said, it was still effective, and that's because they built it off so well that the payoff actually kind of worked. I don't know, I, I really like the idea of the fact that Lightning McQueen has to train, like, in the dirt, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to get his tires dirty and not train the more modern way and focusing on the more internal stuff and using, like, treadmills and a simulator and stuff like that. And because of this reason, we get to go to different locations and find out more about the past that affects Lightning McQueen's future. And that was a really smart move, and I think that making the characters the driving force of this movie was a really smart move and really brought this franchise back to its roots. Like I said, I really liked the first movie, and I was hoping that this movie would at least be as good as the first film, and it might have been even better. And speaking of characters, if you're a Mater hater out there, like Carson behind the camera, um, don't worry, he's barely in the movie, so no worries. But when he is in the movie, he actually works, and he's used very well, and so I actually kind of like that. But it isn't just the old characters that make this movie great. The new characters and the new additions to this movie are actually pretty good, and they're not just, you know, made to sell toys. They're actually really developed and well-made characters. Especially Cruz Romero, who I was kind of concerned about going into the movie because she just felt like strong female character that's a car that can do everything that Lightning McQueen can do and maybe even better. But instead I got a really developed character that wants to be a race car but has told her entire life that she can't be a race car. The overall aesthetic of this movie is actually really good because it feels like one of those country road travel movies 
And the whole movie almost feels like a Rocky movie, like the training montages that you get from them. And the animation is literally better than ever. I haven't seen animation this good in a really long time. And the whole cars and the racing scenes, those all look pretty great because they're shot really great. But in a world where Pixar's movies have kind of gone a little bit flat, this kind of was a breath of fresh air. And like I was telling my friend a few minutes ago, it might be one of Pixar's best movies, or at least better movies, in recent years. I just really enjoyed this movie more than I thought, and it was just kind of an accidental surprise, but a pleasant one at that. So that being said, what did you think of Cars 3? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I'm Frame by Frame. Remember the name. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.